Gemini, welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings uh, for free every 1st and 15th. Thank you so much. And what's going on for Gemini? What is the central theme of Gemini? Um, July 1st through the 15th. Alright, so I have the door to value. Money's coming in. So money's coming in. And the thinking man. So you're really contemplating it. You're thinking about it. You're, you're coming up with a plan of action. So what's, uh, what's going on with Gemini? What's going on with Gemini July 1st through the 15th of 2018? It's three parts for what's uh, in Gemini's mind. What's going on in Gemini's mind? Okay. So I have the two of pentacles. This is decisions about finances, juggling finances, weighing pros and cons. Deciding between two people. This is the card of Capricorn. And I'm also a Gemini. I have a Gemini moon. What else is going on in Gemini's mind? I'm a Pisces sun, Pisces ascendant, Gemini moon, Pisces Venus, Pisces Mars, Aquarius, and Mercury. I have the five of swords. Uh, there's conflict here. There's tension. There's betrayal. There's win at all costs. There's abuse. Criminal violence smugness, gloating, physical attacks. There's a major loss here. There's a no-win situation and it's with an Aquarius. And I have the lovers reversed. Communication breaks down. You send the wrong message. There's infidelity, using sex as a weapon, jealousy, possessiveness, non-committal, divorce, separation, low self-esteem, lack of self-love, disagreements, it's just not the right time to move forward. And that's what's on your mind. What's Gemini's family and home life like? Three cards. Okay, so I have the Page of Swords in the upright, um, news of legal matters, contracts, conflicts, problems, gossip, stressful news, news made, maybe uh, hospital appointments, test results, surgery, um, starting something new, travel, defending yourself, um, there could be a spy here, um, it could be a bright child who's cool and lively, who loves stimulating conversations, uh, razor sharp mind, sponge like brain, full of energy, fired up with enthusiasm, very fast mind, head full of ideas and plans, nervous energy, very quick to pick things up, um, curious about everything, very fussy about eating, uh, calls a spade a spade here, will not spare your feelings. Developing a sense of self, head in clouds, daydreaming, um, a lot on your mind, a lot to think about, forming a workable plan, writing down your thoughts, uh, thinking before, before you do, um, finding a logical solution, owning up to your mistakes, quick-witted, mental challenges, freedom of speech, discussions, um, planning ideas, diplomatic fare, uh, communication. What else is going on, Jeff? So there's a lot of conflict here. Um, it's the Five of Swords conflict, stress, <coughs> strong competition, chaos fighting to be heard, lack of teamwork, things getting out of hand, too many Indians, not enough chiefs. I have the King of Swords. 
Uh, you're coming up with a well thought out plan. The truth will come out. Honesty is always the best policy. Legal issues surround you. Um, could be a law enforcement. But whatever happens, he comes out in your, in your best interest. He's a clear, effective communicator. He's intellectual. He's fact-based, he's fair, he's just, he's strategies, he's strategizing. And we're back in your energy. Gemini, Gemini. Aries. Gemini. Aquarius. Capricorn. That's what I have so far. But I have Gemini twice. Three times, three times. I'm Gemini three times. It looks like growing up, like conflict causes you to grow up. You start out the page of swords and you grow up, you mature. Whatever happens during this time is causing you to mature. What's going on in Gemini's romantic and social life? Three cards for Gemini's romantic and social life. Okay, I have the Four of Pentacles. Two more cards for Gemini's. Okay, I have the Eight of Pentacles. And I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, so th there's a lot of earth energy in your romantic and social life. There's a lot of conflict because your air energy. And air is all about the winds of change. Um, so you love change. Earth hates change. It just wants to stay solid and grounded. Um, and getting into a routine, and you're more of a free spirit with the air energy. So there's a lot of conflict between that. Um, so there's... In your social and romantic life, there's a lot of earth energy, practical, grounded, hates change, but there's people that you can count on here. So we have the four of pentacles in the upright. There's financial stability, ownership, um, lack of intimacy, too much taking, workaholic, secrets, uh, withholding information. This is Capricorn energy, so we have Capricorn repeating itself. We have the eight of pentacles. So four and eight, they're divisible, like you could divide eight by four. Um, so with four, there's stability, structure, and with all this earth, that's all grounded, dependable, stable. So there's a lot of stability here in your romantic and social life, actually. Uh, a lot of uh, growth. Eights are change, movement, action, rebirth. This is um, strong, solid commitments. Ongoing hard work, being highly skilled, exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. And we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There's debt, there's being selfish, there's one side charity, and this is Taurus. So we have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Uh, three cards to help Gemini. Three cards to help Gemini. I have three of cups reversed. Ace of swords and ten of swords reversed. Okay, so three of cups reversed is three of crowds, stifled creativity. Your creativity is so you're just not as creative as you should be. Um, we have the ace of swords. There's new plans, new ideas, clarity of thought, a new outlook on life, a new mindset. Then we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Um, so this is releasing pain. There's light at the end of the tunnel and new beginnings here. So there's a lot of new beginnings. And you need to just be aware of that. And understand that your creativity is cycled, but you can get that back. It's your choice. You're causing that. You're, you need to think about it. 
now open the door to value. All right, uh, three cards for Gemini's money. What's Gemini's money situation going to look like? I have the Page of Cups, Reverse, the King of Cups, Upright, the Emperor, Reverse. So the Page of Cups, Reverse, uh, we have gossip, disappointments, breakups, there could be a job ending with this, um, abuse, tears, letting yourself go. Then we have the King of Cups, being emotionally disciplined, um, giving good advice, get it, uh, getting a shoulder to cry on, um, trying to keep everyone calm, being a healer, following hunches, being sensitive to the needs of others. Um, you need to help people that are emotionally damaged and find a creative outlet. And then I have the Emperor Reverse, and this is anger issues, irresponsibility, impatience, greed, not taking responsibility, being unhelpful, preying on the misery of others, uh, leaving when others need you the most, um, being a villain, a sense of entitlement, living off the state, there's a lack of skills, you're just not cut out for the job that you're in. Power trips, being on guard, narcissism, instability, a hard task manager. There's a hard task manager here. What's going on in terms of Gemini's career? Three cards for what's going on in terms of Gemini's career. Right, there's a Pisces, the High Priestess, there's also a Virgo, uh, there's it's the High Priestess, it's all about your intuition, your subconscious mind, following your intuition. She stands between two pillars, Boaz and Hakeem, which stands for strength and unity. She holds the Torah in her hand, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. Her feet is standing on the moon. The moon represents our emotions, so she's in full control of her emotions. Um, pomegranates represent abundance. So this is the high priestess. It's a need to go deeper for answers. Not everything is obvious at first glance. There's a formation of plans, ideas. There's potential here, um, germination. Uh, a time to germinate, just like a, a plant germinates before it grows, an incubation period. And again, we have incubation period with the Empress. This is a Virgo. This is the next card after that, and this is uh, being domestic, productive, uh, me time, a period of growth. We have earth and air, earth, um, earth and water energies. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse. So this is moving on, accepting things the way they are, forgiveness. This is Scorpio energy, so it's I desire. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So when the Queen of Pentacles reverses, you're being money mad, being out of date, self-centered, poor housekeeper, envious, jealous, spiteful, mean, possessive, obsessive, fortune hunter, social climber, um, slob, overweight. And that's the card of Virgo. So we have Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. We have Virgo th three times. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn twice, Taurus once, Pisces, 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 Pisces three times, Gemini, Gemini, 
Gemini. Gemini. Gemini five times. Aries. Aries. Aries three times. Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer free bi-monthly Zodiac Tarot readings every 1st and 15th. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.